Okay, let's do some profiling. Uh, profiling allows us to basically see how much time our program is spending in one place. It is a tool that I will classify into debug tools, and we will build several debug tools that actually will not ship with our game, but they're very important for us and our productivity. Now, you can go download or purchase a profiler. You do not need to build your own, but one nice thing about building your own is, one, you completely understand what's going on and what's being done for you. Two, it's an educational uh, tool. And then most commonly, three, you can tweak it and adjust it all you want. Now, let me warn you now that I've worked for places where they thought nothing was good enough to buy. They all had to write it at their company. And the syndrome is entitled Not Written Here Syndrome. Don't fall in that trap. Chances are that you and your buddies at your job cannot do a better job than a bunch of engineers with a bunch of resources that are focused on doing that one thing correctly. For example, we're writing a game engine. Well, it's just me, all right, and you. There's, there's not a team of developers building this. We're just building this for an educational purpose. Now, it's fun, and you may end up taking this and doing some cool things with it. But again, I am not going to be cocky to the point where I can say I can write something better than Havoc or UDK or any of those kind of game engines. Uh, same thing with the profiler. We're going to do this purely as an educational tool, but there's plenty of other companies and products out there that specialize in profiling. You could definitely purchase and or download uh, their profilers and use them. So I've already ranted for two minutes on on uh, my professional views. Let me show you. Let me get this up. Here, here are uh, two profilers. This one's free. Very sleepy. Um, you can download this. Use it. Uh, I'll show you how to use it a little bit here. Um, it's it's okay. Okay. There's a lot of weaknesses to it. And then I have Intel's V Tune here, and this thing's just epic. Uh, so is the price tag. It's like 800, 900 bucks. I can't remember. But this thing's really good. And if you really want to get serious about profiling, uh, there's the 30 day trial. At least there currently is now at this time that I'm recording this video. Let me show you uh, this other one. Very sleepy. Just real quickly. I want to bring that, get, get that up and running. You can see as soon as I start it up, it shows me all my processes, just like I would see in Windows Task Manager. I can order this and uh, let's look for my screen recording software Camtasia Studio see anything that looks like cam oh here we go cam recorder click on this and it kind of gives you an idea of where it's spending its time on Camtasia Studio or at least my recorder it has all these threads going on and it shows me roughly what these threads are doing it looks like many of them are waiting all right this is kind of a threading concept this wait for single object wait for multiple objects uh, doesn't really matter which one. Most of these threads are waiting. You can see they're not really taking up too much time down here. Whatever this stuff is, it looks like it's doing the most work. But anyway, uh, I want to let's just use this on our game. I'm gonna c control F5 this, run this, and uh, see how this works in our game. Let me get very sleepy back up. I wish I knew why they call it very sleepy. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to look for sandbox game. Right here, double click, and it's sampling now. And then I can fly our ship around, but honestly, flying our ship around shouldn't really add any value. It's, we're multiplying three birds and adding some vectors. Not a big deal, okay? But here we go. We're at, what, 15 seconds. And uh, here, here's, here's all the data. Very sleepy pulled off while we were running. We have the exclusive times, inclusive times, and the percentage of the... Oh, let me order that by name. Um, actually, I'm going to order it by exclusive. So exclusive means um, the amount of time that was spent in this function, not including its children. Inclusive means, hey, when you called this function, it called other functions, and its children took up this much time. So if you, if you look at it, 15.41 seconds is exclusive, and 15.41 seconds is inclusive. That doesn't make sense. All right, and I think I'm getting what I paid for here with Sleepy, or very Sleepy. It, it's uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever, I'll put up with it. It'll, it might give us some data here. Let's see if we can. Uh, I'll, I think the most important part here is while it was sampling, 
It looks like this is a sleep call, this is a sleep call, and this is a sleep call. And 33% of the time was spent in this sleep, 33% of the time spent in this sleep, 25%. Most of the time it's sleeping. It's not doing anything. Let's see if we can find anything that looks like a function we wrote. And if we uh, if it can't identify the function name, it'll give you the function address. And, oh, here we go, vector 3D. So you can see here that it took up pretty much no time, the vector 3D constructor. Uh, down here, what's this? I'm going to actually order by source file to group all of our files together down here, which is nice. You can see that uh, the operator multiplication pretty much took zero time, the rotate, the vector 3D constructor, paint, again, took no time. But this update's kind of interesting. It's reporting that it's took, it took 14.72 seconds to do our update, which is kind of weird. Because if you look at this, uh, the child calls... Um, the wheel event delta, it spent 14.71 seconds in the wheel of, at, see, at this point I'm like, uh, maybe this tool is not so useful. Maybe it is, maybe, I don't know. I, I tried to find more documentation on it to try to decipher what's going on here. But anyway, I, I think the reason I brought this up is I want you to just kind of get an idea of what profiling does. I think Intel's VTune uh, is a much better product. Let me show you kind of the goal where we're going. I'm going to shut down the game here. This is Excel, Microsoft Excel. And what I basically want to do here is get generate a report from the profiler that we're going to write over the next series of videos. Uh, and that report will tell us roughly what's going on in our game, how much time is being spent in certain locations in our game. For example, let's try to uh, look at what our game's doing. And again, our game's very basic. We really only have one file that's doing all the logic. We will eventually break that down into multiple files, and I'll show you a very cool game worthy design pattern uh, components and entities and things like that uh, but if you look here we got this update and then we tell the clock to do its thing and then we say hey go rotate the ship and then we say hey go update the velocity and then the ship position is the ship velocity plus times it so it's kind of like we're doing a bunch of game updates here and then we say hey go paint which then sends control eventually over to paint gl which which uh, figures out our viewport and uh, does some OpenGL stuff I'll talk about in the computer graphics videos. Then right here is kind of the magic where we, where we got all of our verts, we did our translate, our rotate, we combined both of those matrices into one operator and then applied that operator against all the verts and stored the result into the transformed vert. So here's kind of the cool update part and then we sent that data down to OpenGL so OpenGL would draw our ship. Well. What's taking the longest amount of time? Is it this, or is it you know, this, or this, or do we care? Or are they all minuscule enough that we don't really care? And I'll tell you up front, chances are they are very minuscule. Most of the time, your program will spend most of its time in roughly 10 to 20% of your code. So again, what we're doing is kind of premature. We don't want to prematurely optimize without knowing whether we need to. Okay? There's a couple things to keep in mind. One. How much time is our program spending in certain functions? And two, how often are those functions being called? Would it be better to inline those functions? Would we gain an advantage by not having to call those functions over and over and over again? That kind of thing. So making a profiler ourselves uh, would be beneficial. Let me get back to this report thing. So it depends on how detailed we want to go. I think um, I think as detailed as I want to go, I want to say, hey, how, how long does it take to kind of update what our ship's doing here, so maybe all of this, how long does that take, and then how long does it take to build our matrices, then how long does it take to apply our matrices against uh, each of the vertices, one by one like that, and then also probably most important is how long does it take to transfer that data to the graphics card, alright, so let me see if I can summarize that here in a report, uh, let's say update, update ship, kinematics is what that's called, the physics term, uh, the velocity and the acceleration and stuff. And then uh, building matrices, okay. Building transform matrices. Okay, I'm going to double click right here, open up that column. Uh, transforming verts, right. Transforming verts, how long will that take? And then uh, sending data to the graphics card. So 
sending data to graphics card. So you see how I'm kind of making columns here of the data I want to do, and I'm actually going to uh, insert, how do I insert a column? I actually don't know. <laughs> Let me go Google it. Okay, well now I feel really dumb. Right click, insert, shift cells right. There we go, and I'm going to say frame number. So we're doing, we're shooting for 60 frames a second. I think we're doing upwards of maybe a thousand right now, but basically every frame, I want to see a report here of the frame number like so, and then update ship kinematics. Maybe that took 0 0.003 seconds. And uh, build transform matrix. Maybe that took 0.024 matrix. I'm just making these numbers up. But hopefully you get an idea that frame by frame, transforming the verts took half a second. Way too long. But hopefully you're getting the idea that I'm... Uh, I want to see, I want to measure the amount of time my program's spending in certain places. And so frame by frame... The data, the data will vary, obviously, but basically frame by frame, I want to be a, to get a report. I want our profiler to generate a report like this so we can see what's going on. And then when we have that report, I can actually come here and say insert, oh, what is it, line chart, 2D line chart, and we'll get a, a line chart telling us where the times will be, except we'll see some zigzags and things like that. I think I'm rambling. I think I'm taking too much time. But that's roughly where we're going with this. Let's build a profiler that will generate such a, rep such a report as this for us.